Hello, in this tutorial, we're going to be implementing the game state. So the game state is where all of the game logic will happen. It's where all, well, you're going to be spending most of your time in if you're the user. It's where you'll be playing the game. We're not implementing the entire game state here. We're essentially be going to be creating the overview, what we've got with the splash state and main menu state. And once we've done all of these states, we'll cover the game logic and they'll be co it'll all be covered over a bunch of separate little videos explaining each individual piece of functionality that we are adding. So first of all, go to your definitions.hpp. I think you know the drill by now. We want a background for the game background. So this is gonna be called game background. Usually we would change this to something. It's still using the same background of the main menu. You might be thinking, why are we doing the separate hash define. The reason for that is, this is where the beauty lies in the hash defines and the system that we're using. Yes, we're using the same image now, but what happens when we want to add a different image? We can either just come here and change it. We don't need to go through the code and change where we're loading the texture and change where we're using it. We can just change it here. Hence why do we do have separate ones. So now what you want to do is go to your sidebar or whatever you're using and create some new files so we'll be creating a new class for our game state so this is going to be called game state cpp and game state hpp so if you're on visual studio the process is the same that you that you've used before and you also want to create a header file click next and this is gonna be very similar to the splash state. So if you copy and paste the content from the header to the splash state, I mean the game state header, change splash state to game state, do the same down here. If you scroll down, we can get rid of the clock. Apart from that, it's all staying the same. And now in the splash state.cpp, copy and paste this into the game state.cpp like so and what you want to do is just replace splash state.cpp with game state so game state.hpp and we're going to get rid of this main menu state.hpp include we need to replace any instance of splash state with game state do the same here and here and here and here okay in the update method we are not going to be putting anything in there at the moment so just get rid of the contents for the initialization we are going to be loading in a texture and this is going to be the game background now we need to specify the game background file path which we put in a hash define the background sprite is called the same so all we need to do is change this to game background and if you scroll down we're still handling the close event and we're still drawing our background so if we run this we are all ready to go the only one last thing before it will work and that is we haven't implemented the functionality for this to actually go to our game state so to do that, it's very similar to what we did in the splash state. So if you go to here, copy and paste this into your main menu state.cpp. So where we are handling the click event, paste the C out with this. And what we need to do is do hash include game state.hpp, scroll down. And instead of creating a main menu state, which this would just essentially create a endless sort of cycle because we would create a main menu state, replace it with the main menu state, and you, you, we wouldn't be able to get out of it. What we want is game state like so. We're still passing in the data, and we still want this to replace our current state. So if I run this now, We get our game and if I click play, it takes us to the game state. 
the moment it doesn't look anything special just to confirm we have gone to the correct state what we're going to do is go to the game state.cpp in the init method we're also going to put a std cout and this is going to say game state std and line and if we run this we get our splash state this will take us to our main menu if you look in the console it says nothing at the moment but as soon as we press it it says game state which confirms we are successfully loading and showing our game state so that is it for the game state video like i said this isn't the entirety of the game state because most of the videos will be covering how to link in classes and how to implement functionality within this particular section of our code but we'll be covering that after the state creation has been done so if you have any questions feel free to post them on my educational platform sonarlearning.co.uk and if you want to check out the source code from this video or any video in this series feel free there will be a link with this video to the github page and as usual thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video